This episode of Royal Key is brought to you by Bet Online. BetOnline.ag is more than just an online betting platform. They boast a focus on the player approach and have built their reputation on offering clients nothing but the best. From cutting edge technology, enticing promotions, and the latest sports betting odds, Bet Online, the best online betting site on the internet. Also, stay tuned to the end of the episode for your chance to win this Kentucky football pack. What's going on, world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here with John Denial of Kentucky. How you doing, John? Doing well. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad we could finally make this work. We're here in the lobby area right now, right? I'm assuming this is the area that you bring recruits in, and sure. you now have some new hardware to show them, right? Absolutely. The first thing they see when they come in the front door is our Governor's Cup trophy, and also in the same case is our Citrus Bowl trophy for our victory over Penn State on January 1st of this year. That and then, you know, kids these days are very much into gear, so that's another one of the first things they see, right? Absolutely, so we've got several of our uniform combinations. You know, at Kentucky, we got a great partnership with Nike. We're able to kind of do some really cool stuff with the uniforms. We've got three sets of everything, so the three colors of jersey, three color pants, all sorts of different helmet combinations we can roll out, so. What we've done here is kind of grabbed six, eight of those different looks to put on display for people to see as they rock in the building. And you know, we've also got a little simulator over here that you can kind of design your own look. Now, another interactive thing in this uh, lobby area is... It's a 360 display. It kind of puts you inside the helmet, essentially, of, a, of one of our players. You pick a video, so you can select your video on the screen. And it kind of puts you inside the helmet now. So you have the feeling that you're walking out with the team. And so this is our catwalk that we do before every every home game and it's kind of walking off from the bus kind of through the band through the crowd you know kind of gets the guys a little hyped up before they even get into the locker room yeah that is awesome that is awesome all right john when a recruit walks in here they see the simulations branded stuff the trophies but one thing that's looking them directly in the eyes is the cafeteria right? sure sure yeah so they're able to come in here and you know, grab a bowl of cereal in the mornings, um, grab a little bit of nutrition, you know, after workouts to get to class, and then we serve meals in here at night. So they spend quite a bit of time here in the cafeteria. Now, before we leave this area, showing a recruit history is, is very important. One of the things that I didn't realize until I came to Kentucky was that George Blanda played here. You know, he was kind of a do everything type of guy, you know, in his pro career. and. You know, he started off here in Kentucky. You know, Sonny Collins was our all-time leading rusher until Benny Snow broke his record. You know, this is just kind of an homage to all the guys that we've had come through here that have really paved the way for what we are now. What I'm gonna do now is pass you off to Alan Belcher, who is our assistant football equipment manager. All right, Alan, checkerboard-wise, we see a lot of that at Tennessee, right? But you guys actually use it as well. We use it a lot as well. And, you know, the main reason we do it, you know, here in the state of Kentucky, it's all about horse racing. You know, Lexington, Kentucky's kind of the horse capital of the world. So the big reason we use checkerboard is one of the most famous horses ever come through. It's Secretariat. You know, we have the silks here, and the big thing about Secretariat silks was it was blue and white checkerboard. Now, as far as another history piece besides uh, Secretariat is what we're seeing outside. Yeah, we had the first four African-Americans to integrate into the SEC. We wanted to put a statue out here for them, you know, just to show our history and to kind of, you know, to remind our guys when they come through that, you know, these are the guys that helped set the history, set the tone. All right, so the first place we got here is our CAT Center. So this is our academic center. This is where the guys come do all their tutoring and everything like that. So it's real nice it being in the facility. They can come in, they can go work out. As soon as they're done with workouts, they can go study. Huge weight room, it's got a cardio room up here to the top, but it's big enough that, uh, you know, our strength coach, Coach Ed, can uh, work out everybody at once if he wants to. We kind of joke that it's our air, aircraft hanger and we got the, all the glass along the outside there. And then we have a carpet area here where he can do stretches, little sprints and everything. And then one other thing, branding wise, usually you go to a university, you see the initials, um, but you guys have the whole state. Yes, you know, we're the University of Kentucky. We are the state's university. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of times when you'll see our stuff, we do the state outline. We want to make sure people know that, you know, yeah. we're representing the state as well as not just the university. What we got here is our big team meeting room. It seats about 200, so we can fit the entire team. And um, when we hit postseason, 
we'll do the entire team plus we'll do all the student workers in here okay and we can have just a big giant me our video guy will tell us that it's the second best movie theater in lexington <laughs> with the, all the speakers and projection screen a lot of times we'll bring in some you know guest speakers you know we're always trying to you know, not just improve on the field, but off the field, you know, right. trying to help them to become great men afterwards. You know, we do a four for 40. So, you know, it's, you got four years to prepare for your next 40. This is our wide receiver room. So every position kind of has its own theater room, its own little meeting room that once they get done with their team meetings, they break up and they go to these different rooms where they can now meet with their position coach and kind of they'll go over film of practice games, whatever else. And as you can tell, you know, along the walls, we're gonna show the former players and kind of show the past of the guys that have gone through it, you know, so they know, hey, that, you know, other people have gone through and done this what you have. So what we have here is our indoors. It's pretty much a full out football field. We lose a little bit of the end zones because we have a full out track around it, which is nice because we'll hold indoor track meets and everything else here. But this allows us when it starts raining outside, you know, we can come in here or work out or like right now, you know, when it's a little bit cold out, we can do our workouts in here. And the, the best thing about it is the accessibility. So what we got here is our NFL walls. As you can tell, we got gloves at every NFL team and they'll scroll through of all the guys that have played in the NFL for those teams. Our big board here, our touch screen here. So what you can do is you can pick your favorite NFL team, Texans, and it'll pop up and it'll show you all the guys that have played for the Texans that have been here. Um, and then you can obviously click on them, give you more information. You can also go by players. If you got just a player name, you know, you can pick. Right across the way is our Gatorade bar rooms. It's just a snack room. It's where they make all their shakes, anything that they need. This is just an area that they can grab something before workouts, you know. You got a few nutritionists in there, so they'll make shakes for them every day. Down the hallway, what we have here is just all the stadiums that you can play in in the SEC. Which one would you say is the craziest atmosphere? Craziest atmosphere? LSU's really crazy. Florida's really crazy, you know. Right, right. Without knowing statistics, which one seems the biggest when you're out there on the field? When you're out there, um, I would say probably Neyland, and I think it actually is the biggest. Florida, to me, is a little bit better because Neyland kind of goes out where Florida's built straight up. So you're just like, oh, everybody's right on top of you where a lot of these other schools, you got a little bit of space. We're big about kind of showing the past and where we're going and people have gone through. So this is just a wall of all the people that have been all SEC or all American, whatever else. So I can tell guys that have bigger posters, bigger pictures or guys that have had more accolades, all Americans, a lot of time in the league. On the other side, we've got our wall of great memories to some of the big games that have happened here. Probably one of the craziest for me was the year we beat number one LSU and we went three overtimes to get it rowdy. So what we have here is our helmets. So here at the University of Kentucky, we have three helmets. Technically every player gets four. We do a, a blue practice helmet and they'll get a blue game, a white game, and a chrome game. And along with our three colors, we also do three color masks. We do blue, anthracite, and white. You know, we have the the Deion Sanders motto, you look good, you play good. So we'll always make sure you look good. And the one way we do that is, you know, we're gonna match our cleats up with our uniform combo and all that. So we do three different color cleats. We do a white blue, we do a black, and we do a white, all white. So anytime we wear an all white, you know, it could be all white with the chrome white or all white, blue helmet, whatever else. We're gonna wear our white cleats. We're gonna have guys wear the white cleats. Anytime we've got blue in our uniform, we're gonna do the, the blue and white kind of combo. And anytime we wear our all anthracite, which is kind of a dark gray, we're gonna wear the black. Here we got our, our footwear, our shoes. So this is just all the shoes the guys got just this year. And last but not least, the graphics you have on your space saver. Yeah, our graphics. We have a group here that does our graphics. So this is just a shot from uh, one of the first games of once we had redone our stadium, it was one of the first shots of the new field. So big fan of it, kind of gives us a nice little decoration. You know, it's after we scored a touchdown, so the fireworks are going off. All right, Bart, we came at the right time, right? Yes, you did. So what are we doing here? So basically, we're going to take two scans of your head, basically digitally map your head, and we're going to mesh those two scans to make a custom pad set for a helmet that's only going to fit you and only you. So the first scan that we'll do, I'll do one with a shell. Okay, then we'll take the helmet off and then I'll just do it with like a scuba type hood on. So you're gonna be in basically a, a large range. So if you, you would just have a seat right there, George. Go ahead and slide this hood on for me. And then when you pull it down, I just want it right over your eyes and right under your lip, okay? You look like you've done this before, man. <laughs> so George, I'm gonna put a, large shell on you. Okay. 
go ahead and slide that on. And the reason I want the shell on you is I, I basically want sight lines where you okay. want to wear the helmet, where you right. want to look out of. So, so actually I want to position down just okay. a bit. Right. That's good right there. So the only thing I need you to do, George, is just sit up straight and everything. You can breathe, but just try not to move. Okay. So I'll let you look at this okay. digital image that we created at your head. If you remove that, just leave the hood on. And this is actually the most important scan here. Same thing, good and straight. This one will go a little bit quicker. This one is actually measuring your surface area. This way, when we create the molds, the padding is only gonna fit you, okay. okay? So the unique thing about this is in the world of helmet technology, the safest helmet is probably the helmet that fits the best. Okay. So we want a custom fit to you. All right, Tom, we're here with you, man. You are one of the most experienced equipment managers in the entire nation. So I'm sure you've seen tons. You know, being around the college athletes, being around the, you know, the college student managers, you learn something new every day. So, you know, I might be old in age, but you know, I, I'm still young at heart because I still, you know, I love these guys and they teach me every day. And when you stop learning, that's when it's time to shut her down, but I ain't gonna do that yet. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, take me back to, to 78, uh, even before then, when your eyes were wide open coming into this position. Um, and how it's changed over time. Well, it's just like it, anything in, in the world right now, technology. Right. You know, technology is really, really changing. Just like, you know, what you just did, you know, scanning your head for a helmet. You know, before we just get something off a helmet, you know, throw some air in it, you know, to tighten it up. But now the helmet manufacturers are all trying to do more customized things, you know. And again, it's for player protection. And, you know, that's at the forefront of everybody. I don't care if it's, if it's Pop Warner, high school, college, NFL, everybody is concerned about player protection. And so, you know, that's, you know, one of the greatest things that's going on right now. Now, you being as experienced as you are, we have a lot of viewers who are always ask us, you know, I want to be an equipment manager. I want to do this. I want to be a director of equipment, but they don't realize what goes on behind the scenes. What people see us is, They'll see me right now doing this. Well, they didn't see me at 5.30 this morning, you know, handing out gear to the players. And they won't see us at 7.30 at night washing clothes. You know, it's, uh, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, they'll see us sometimes at a game. Well, you know, games, I mean, our job's done for the most part, unless something breaks, you know. I mean, if we're scrambling around during the game, that means we didn't do our job beforehand. Our jobs are pre and post. You know, basically when nobody's around, is when our, our jobs take place and it, it's tough. And, you know, whenever I, you, you know, interview, you know, prospective student managers, I'm like, boys, it's a job. You know, they're gonna put in 40 hours a week and go to school. While Al and myself, you know, we're putting in, you know, 80 hours a week, right, right. you know, and trying to, you know, raise families and all that. So the time constraints that are put upon you are, are pretty extensive. You seem like the type of person who doesn't need the rah-rah and, and verbal appreciation all the time. But when have you felt the most appreciated uh, in your position over your career? I mean, basically, when, when a player says thank you, gives me a hug, says, TK, I love you. Just the other day, I was just sitting at home and and two of our, our our players that are working out, Mike Edwards and Josh Allen, you know, they called me. Yeah. And I, I got the biggest smile on my face because these guys just out of the blue just called. I mean, that, that you know, the, the biggest thing, you know, getting a hug from a coach, getting a, especially getting a hug from a player, yeah. you know, and, and when they say, hey, I appreciate you, instead of saying, Tom, I need this. Tom, I need that. You know, it's like, Tom, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Well, TK, I know you're busy, so I, I appreciate the time. And, and it's an honor to sit next to a person who's been in their position for 40 it's plus not years. It's an honor, man. It's, it's <laughs> luck. It's called luck. <laughs> Thank you, man. All right, BBN Nation. It's time to get a little gift package from the University of Kentucky Equipment Room in Nike. Hope you guys enjoy because, you know, BBN means everything to us. To find out how to win that package, follow Korsky Media, C-O-I-S-K-I Media, and George Kill, and we'll let you know how to win that. So Korsky fans, just an FYI, I didn't do this uh, video alone. This time around, I had my guy Sam here. 
Sam is a, uh, an equipment manager at Ballard High School in Louisville, Kentucky. His biggest dream is to be a University of Kentucky equipment manager. So Sam, I wanted you to come on this experience. Uh, what did you learn? Well, I learned that it takes a lot to be on the next level, that it takes a lot of time and preparation, and that's a big factor in being a successful manager. Right, right, right. So Ballard, does it have everything that you've seen today? Not necessarily, <laughs> not everything. But I was really impressed by all the things I see. Like, I saw a lot of things that was really impressive. The locker room was really unique. And even though our locker room just got updated last year, I was very impressed by the facility. So after hearing from Tom, TK, the guy who's been here for 40 plus years, still up for it? Yeah, I'm, I'm really up for it. I can't wait. Definitely, definitely. Well, I'm glad you got a chance to come check this out, man. And, Thank you very uh, much. Best of luck. Uh, God bless you, man. Keep doing your thing. Thanks again to BetOnline.ag for sponsoring this episode of Royal Key. Join them today and use the promo code Royal Key for a 50% welcome bonus. Again, that's BetOnline.ag. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to see exclusive content and more Royal Key episodes.